Hello boys and welcome to part two of Think Like a Champion of the day, of today. Hope you're doing well. We're going to be playing some Coastline and telling you all my thoughts and plans so that you too can become an R6 champion. Hopefully. Well, maybe not because you might just suck at everything. So, Or you're really good at everything and you just need to understand how to think better. Hopefully that's the case because in that case, then there's there's hope for you, you know? Maybe I'll ban Ying. I, I kind of want to play Dokubi, but also then I remember how annoying it is to play against a Dokubi, and it makes me never want to not have her banned ever again. In other words, have her always banned all of the time. Coastline defense. Coastline defense is uh, you kind of have to really take space on the coastline defense. If you play too cramped up, they're going to get a lot of map control very fast because it is such a small map. Um, and it's hard to flank because there's not a lot of flank avenues and it's pretty easy to lock down those flanks because there's only a few different paths around the map because there is so few rooms. So we want to be make sure, make suring, we want to make sure that we're uh, holding space and playing smart and not being jammed up. And, you know, you kind of have to be a little aggressive. You do have to take some pressure off on this map. They banned Cap Can, and this guy has a 77% win percentage. So who knows what could happen here? Who knows? We do have uh, Morocco and Bry back on our team. Two goaded gamers. And then we got rid of Faulty, who is uh, booty cheeks. And he's on the other team now. So that's that's a W in my book. That's that's GG easy. Am I right, boys? Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I could play like a Doc or even a Rook. Even a ward in here wouldn't be bad just because, uh, like, Ying is very good and very strong on this map. Solus could work. I could go underneath and play a Solus. Let's do the warden, you know? Nobody plays... Ward has been, Warden's been abused. He's been slept on. He's been he's been kind of put on the back burner since he doesn't have a 1.5 now. But understandably so. Now he's actually used for his intended purpose, which is countering smoke grenades. Believe it or not. You ever seen a warden reinforce? Well, today's the day. Today's the day because he's back to being... The, the way he was intended to be. And I love that. Uh, I'm going to reinforce these VIP walls. Just to slow them down if they're trying to take this way. That way they have to feed through that VIP door or come through the hatch. And they can't just breach in from here. This allows you to play VIP and actually contest uh, this hallway a little easier. Without having to worry about being wall banged or like breach charged through that wall. The Azami is really nice here because you can use it for this sort of thing. Where you can push up billiards and get aggressive on the Aqua which is nice. And yeah, this, uh, this is my life. This is my setup. Almost shot him in the back of the head. I kind of forgot the round was starting. I'm going to play by Hookah so I can actually stop like a Ying push or a Glash push or like a Smoke Plant if they're going for it. Now, let's see. We got a couple over here. Almost got a pick from Leech. That would have been big. But you can tell how aggressive these guys are. Oh, we actually got pooped on. That's crazy. Um, got one outside Hookah. They're in office. They're in office, by the way. I could maybe come down and play cool vibes, but this blue bar angle is going to clap me. I'm just going to sit where I am, see how things progress here. Just be careful of them sneaking into sight. Big pick from the Jaeger. Huge, huge, huge. Rye sparking up off the start here. Now, it's nice having good teammates because you can actually rely on yeah, them to dude. do their job well, uh, which is why I can kind of sit back and relax and play it a little safer. You don't have to be worried about them walking in, but a zombie's watching that, so it should be fine. Famous last words. I could go underneath and try to C4 this guy. That's on the wall. No, I'm standing in smoke and my game is like My game just froze, dude. It's not on you. You're good. Alright, so now I have 30 health. That's rough. I would have had the kill, too. I literally saw him as my game froze, so that's kind of... Unfortunate. I'm just going to use this BP. Oh yeah, pro player. Can I revive you? Nah, probably not. He's in VIP. I'm going to move. I'm going to win in the hallway, I'll see for his ass. We got our BP, you can't tell. Actually, I have 90 cam, hold up. Use on I drum. could use this as a smoke screen. Crawl over, crawl over. Let's get you back on your feet. He's, he's in the hallway behind the plant. He's pushing up all, pushing up all. I'm gonna just stay prone here. All of a sudden, you, he ran away, he ran away, back to VIP. I'm gonna get back into my spot. Now we have a crossfire again. We're good, we're chilling. 
My game keeps freezing. Bad timing. Still VIP. You swing off me. He's in hall. Oh, I can't see him. That's a 60 ping right there. That is crazy. All have been neutralized. Wow. I, he was not even on my screen. I was holding the angle and everything. Unfortunate. Okay, well, you know, that's... Part of the ping life, you really got to play to your ping. I'm on. Uh, I mentioned this in the first video, but I'm on some different servers than I would normally be on, just because uh, there was cheaters on the other one. So normally I'm used to having a really, really low ping because I live, I guess, close enough to the servers that I only get like 10, 20 ping. So it's it's basically it's almost like playing on land where everything is almost instant, which I uh, crutch heavily and use to my advantage very much so. But when you have this higher ping, you kind of have to. You can't really hold angles. You got to play more. Uh, more to swing, more aggression. You want to be, you want to be swinging onto people. That way, your ping isn't uh, screwing you over. But it's okay. It's okay. It'll happen. It'll happen. Not a bad round. Not a great round. Some sad moments. Like I was one shot because I was standing in the smoke. Like just a lot of things that didn't go in our favor right there. But it's okay. It's okay. You know, they they aren't always. It's not guaranteed that things will always go in your favor. You just have to make work what you can. And keep your head. You got to keep your head. Boys. Your mental is your is your most um, strategic thing. Your most valuable asset. That's the word. That's what I was looking for. Your mental is your most valuable asset when you're playing this game. So losing it is only going to make you play worse for the following rounds. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon, guys. Come on. We've all heard it before. I'm just going to start off site. See if I catch someone doing some dumb shit off the start. I might go office again, so maybe I'll play security. Holding angles isn't bad as well when they're like off angles. Um, because then you won't get like pre-fired. You'll have to get flicked or whatever. But also, the better people's aim are, the harder it is to hold angles because they will flick to you and smoke you with their first bullets sometimes. Gotta be careful the roof. Alright, not really finding anything right now. Just gonna spray through here and maybe hopefully get a pick on the hookah bell. I don't know where. Are they coming VIP? I died. Holding an angle again. Base is down in sight. Oh, I did not expect this guy to be in VIP already. Another BP, which is nice. You see this? Loading new Look at that. I do have this Eva barrier that I might be able to peek stupidly off of. Yep, this is dumb. I'm not even gonna peek it. My aim is atrocious right now too, so we go Hall of Fame. Operator standing. Do you have nine? Do you have ninety cam? I'm gonna hop on the pool table. You can tell the ping is just atrocious. Oh my god! I don't think a single bullet hit him there, and I was definitely hitting him. Oh, they traded. Wow, good shit, dog. Oh, this is awful. I'm so, I've, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry to anybody that I've called bad because they have, like, because they actually just have to play on this all the time and they just suck because their bullets don't actually register. This is awful. Like, you can definitely feel it. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm also sorry that I suck at the game. But what can I do, you know? What can I do? Just keep, keep learning. Keep learning. Keep trying. All right, let's do some... Hmm, we could hold Sunrise here. We could hold Office. We could hold Above, even. Let's do a mute. Let's do a mute setup. Top floor. Let's hold top floor with the mute. We can use a shotgun to make vertical angles onto kitchen. Uh, we can do the site setup for our team. We can just help them out with some mute jammers on site. This mute jammer is very nice because it blocks the kitchen window and the drone hole. And also catches the drones once they're too far gone, right? So it's only once they're... Actually, that... No, I messed it up. Hold up. We got to move it. We got to move it so it can't get to the corner because right now the way i have it they can actually sit in the corner and still give info for kitchen so i'm gonna put it right on the drone hole so once that way they can't sit in the corner and still have that info because otherwise they can just sit it in the drone hole and just have all the info they want which is not great which is not great for uh for us because then it's effectively doing nothing make some foothold for the push in and then we're gonna head upstairs 
which it is a little late in the round to head upstairs, but it's fine. Making mute a three speed was one of the worst, or a three armor is one of the worst changes ever. Do you guys agree? Do you think it's stupid that mute is a one speed? Like this dude has one of the longest sight setups between the shotgun and four mute jammers. Like it takes so long for him to set up. I can't imagine, it's even slower on console, right? Because you have to, um, you're just slower, right? You're slower moving around, placing things down, being precise. Oh God, that was a dude. I gotta try to get out. I have no ammo. No, I'm dead. Rip. I got out. I'm alive. So I'm gonna break this as if I dropped. I'm trying to persuade them to push this hallway. Sounds like there's two here. I'm probably dead. I'm probably just dead. Oh, we got him. We got him, boys. We got him. I don't know where his drone went. Luckily, that guy went on a drone as I did that. He's droning again. Crazy angle. Might get smoked off of it. Or might get another kill. Who knows? Could just drop right now. Might as well keep contesting it though. Might go for a wall bang. So I'm gonna back up. I'm just gonna hold this pixel. If I whiff, I'm gonna drop. The second I shoot, I'm gonna drop. I don't know where his drone went though. So he could have info on me. But it's such a tight angle that I might be okay. Could also get shot through the wall behind me if he wraps all the way around. See, there's that wall bang. Glad I backed up. Hey, Bob. There's one above. Service door. Yeah. Reload! Okay, I wisp all my shot. Time to leave. Let's get back to site without dying, hopefully. I'm just gonna hide. You know, I got my life. I got two kills. We have two man advantage. I'm one HP. So I'm just gonna try and stay alive. That's it. Wait for them to walk in and I'll try and pump them, you know? Just my life is the most valuable thing right now. And peeking and running around is just a very easy way to get killed. So I'm just not gonna do any of that. And then wait till wait till the end of the round. You know, there's 50 seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna check my phone. How's it going? Oh, I got Snapchat. What do you know? Mm. I got nothing to worry about. Oh, mm. here we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, no, no. Oh. Nothing going on. Nothing to worry about. You sit still. Take your hand. Take your hands and feet away from the vehicle, boys. Keep your hands and feet away from the vehicle. Don't drink and drive. That's basically what's going on right now. Now, I really want to run at this guy because it's a 4v1 and I know where he is, but I'm not because I'm being disciplined, okay? Okay, boys, you know what I'm doing? Bulletproofing myself, and that's how you win the round. Genius. All right. From absolute terrible round to uh, absolutely baller round, look what we did. We became great again, guys. We became great again. Call me America because um, I am becoming great again. I is that, isn't that a Donald Trump slogan? I'm Canadian. I don't really know much about America. Well, I know that there's states. I know a few of the states. How many states do you think I could name? I could probably name 15 or 20 states. That's pretty good, right? I think the average American could probably name what? Like half of them? Four, like maybe 75%? If you are from America and you are watching this video, how many states can you name? I'm curious. It has nothing to do with Rainbow Six Siege, but... Now I'm just now I'm just fascinated. We could play zero. Honestly, zero is pretty solid on coastline because it's such a small map. There's a lot of good cams you can put, and it can cover. You can cover like a large majority of the map with info. My my teammates are calling out, and honestly, this might actually be a good idea. Coastline also, you don't really need specific operators for it because it is very just like frag heavy. So bringing the zero, it's actually there's space for him in the lineup because you don't need those like hard breachers, counter wall denial, like fraggers, soft breach, all that all that stuff. But then again, they also have Mira. Oh, they have Malusi too. I could go Brava for the Malusi. It looks like my teammates are opening quad wall. I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play the zero. Why not? I know a lot of you guys like them, so maybe it'll get you a little excited if I pick them. I will put the extended barrel on so that we get that extra extra damage. It it, it does one. What what is it? It's like one bullet less on two speeds or something. Three speeds maybe. So worth running. I also like the recoil pattern with the suppressor and the extended barrel. Oh, dude, I literally just checked it. I literally checked it. You watched me check it, dude. You watched me check it, chat. He did it late. He did it late, dude. That is so frustrating. See, I really want to get really mad right now. You know what else? It's like late in the day. I'm tired. It's 5.30 p.m. You know, normally I record these in the morning. So, like, I'm already. I'm already. A little tired, a little cranky, you could say. So it's definitely a lot easier when you're tired to to let it get to you more. 
Flanking, flanking. Oh, fuck, sorry. I could only see to the left. I, I was yapping. Okay, I'm really just fumbling the bag right now. <laughs> As I was saying, it's easier to get angry. Well, this is like pool table. It's easier to get angry like when you are. There's one on 90. Mira's 90. Mira's 90 hall. Hey, He's outside Mira's theater. He's pushing into theater. Oh, nice. Nice. He's dead. Um, it's easier to get. Uh, fully. I can't get What's this point the across, table, dude. There's like, so much going on. He's literally on the pool table. Goodbye, pink bar. There is. I, I forget what I was in, dude. One's, in, one's in theater and one's billiards. Or not theater, sorry. Uh, who can billiards? Last guy's on the billiard table. He's still on the table, still on the table, pool table. Good chance. PG. Is the game over? Oh, wait, never no, it's not. It's easier to get tilted when you're tired. But you still can't let it get to you. You still have the choice, right? I have the choice there to freak out. I have the choice there to just freak out, lose my mind, say, like, screw this game, I'm not playing anymore, and just completely lose it. But I am choosing to keep my head in the game. It takes more energy. It's not as easy. It's, a, it's really easy to just give into your anger and start screaming and breaking shit and, like, freaking out, right? Especially if you have anger problems, which I, I might. I might have at one time. I, I'm pretty sure that I've probably... I've surpassed them pretty well at this point, you know? Done a lot of reflection. Definitely used to get super angry. I didn't break anything ever because that just really made no sense to me. But I would definitely, like, completely lose my mind. And, and, and there's still days where, like, you know, I just get tilted. You know, everyone gets tilted. Everyone has emotions. Everyone feels things. It's hard to... It's hard because you have to stop yourself from getting tilted before you get tilted. That's the trick. Um, so in those moments, you know, just... Take a step back, relax. It's all gonna be okay. I'm not gonna play zero here, unfortunately. So you guys aren't gonna see the zero because he's not that good on kitchen. Could go ying on kitchen window. I could still go zero. I mean, I could just bait on the roof. It's not the best strategy, but I could do it. You know what the crazy part is too? Is like I barely ever spawn here. Normally I would sp spawn main entrance to go to the roof. Five seconds. Uh, maybe I'll bring hard breach tools. I don't think I need claymores or anything here. So this is the drone I was talking about that that mute jammer does not work against. So I'm gonna put it there just for info on site if I do die or somebody dies, they can get some info on site. Careful the spawn peak. If I get spawn peak again, then I'm gonna... Nice. Thank you, thank you. Good call. Service, right? That drone hole is a nice way to get kills. Beautiful play by Morocco. Power of info right there too. You must Drop in the fuser, I'm getting active. I'ma hop on cam, see if I can help him out at all. Kitch Hall is bandit. This thing goes blue bar, I'll get him to the wall there. Okay, I'ma help my team now. Probably drop penthouse with sledge. One's fucking up like Bayside. Bane on deeping. Argus deployed. He's fucking up 90 right now. Freak kill, freak kill. He's by the base on deeping. Nice. Zero cam came clutch there. Zero is great when your teammates actually call out. I'm gonna drone service real quick so I don't get killed popping out. Because some people will stand in the door and watch the window. You have one above bathroom. Sorry, walk out of server. One lobby. Lobby going bathroom. In bathroom. Lobby down. door? No, no, he's in bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna walk in lobby on him. Probably didn't need to shoot that. I don't know if he's in bathroom or you probably went kegs. Four last operator standing. Nice, John four Kramer. Right. I don't know. What did you guys think about that? I feel like this was a rough day, but maybe, maybe it's just, maybe it's just the time of day. Maybe I just feel strange compared to normal. It feels out of place a little bit. I don't know. Uh, what do we, whatever, dude. Go watch part one. Go watch part one. Enjoy the daily uploads. I'm back. I'm back, boys. I'm just I'm trying to get into the groove still. I was not the MVP. Why does he keep saying I'm the best at the, at the game when I'm not the best at the game? It doesn't matter. Anyway, peace out, boys. See you tomorrow.